Hi, Peter Summer with Capital Intelligence Group. Uh, my uh, question is first for Secretary General, then uh, Mr. Hess. Uh, you mentioned quite often you're trying to take counter-cyclical measures to uh, address the volatility. Will you be pushing for OPEC members to be able to take hedging, to hedge their uh, oil production risks? Um, IMF and World Bank have been playing around with it. I think Libya started looking at it, Mexico does. And Mr. Hess, I mean, I noticed that the Secretary General's meant New York hedges, but nothing was mentioned on Chicago. Will you be helping oil producers, OPEC members, go on on-exchange trading in Chicago rather than over the counter, which is quite expensive to the taxpayers of oil producing countries? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the, the, the decision for member countries or national oil companies or member countries uh, to embark on uh, hedging programs are sovereign decisions of member countries. Um, but I think the, the fact is that uh, uh, from Washington, I'm heading to New York. I'm going straight to Wall Street. I'm, I'm sure I'm meeting with you and your colleagues in Wall Street. Uh, uh, I was uh, sharing with uh, Daniel Yerman yesterday uh, that uh, way back in 1986, I came from apprenticeship in Bot Chicago and I'm a nice, uh, as a young trainee. Mm -hmm. And uh, I look forward to returning to, to Wall Street. Uh, the, the, the numbers are staggering. Uh, uh, the, the, the evolution uh, of that sector of the market and the industry has been very impressive. Uh, the impact of uh, your activities on physical markets uh, has also been compounded. Uh, 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 as I said earlier, just in the back, I was asking my colleagues here, please can you remind me what, what, what is Bolo Trade? Uh, uh, the, in anticipation of meeting you here, Bolo Trade. Uh, uh, in Niger, uh, this November, 27 million pounds. Correct? 27 million pounds. Uh, in, in London, I uh, rent about 20 million. Uh, altogether, nearly 48 million pounds in November. These are these physical oil, 94, 95 million. Yeah. Yeah. So, we have a vested interest in, uh, in, in, in knowing your business. Uh, in working with you, uh, uh, in getting you on board this global platform uh, that we are now building between OPEC and OPEC and between producers and consumers, between us producers and operators, companies. I think that platform would be incomplete without you on board, without your help. And I think another perspective to complement what the Secretary General is saying Perhaps our strategy and business focus is to find, develop, and produce oil and gas to help meet the world's future and demand for energy. Uh, it is not to hedge or trade with other companies uh, to help them hedge themselves. We have our hands full with hedging our own production, uh, which is our activity level that goes up to ensure that we have the cash flow on a year-to-year -year basis is something we'll give uh, serious consideration to. I just want to use this opportunity again to thank the Secretary General for being here in the United States. This is historic. The OPEC agreement was historic, but his presence here is historic. And it helps us in the United States better understand OPEC, but it also helps OPEC better understand the United States. It also helps OPEC producers better understand shale producers and shale producers better understand OPEC producers, and I think it sets a new foundation or a new chapter for greater price stability, uh, uh, affordability of uh, oil, and also security of supply as we look out the next 10 to 20 years. And if I can, uh, Sarah, why don't we give the Secretary General a warm round of applause.